Greetings everybody, John with you. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video, we're looking at my candle empties for the month of June. For the month of June? No, for the month of May. <laughs> we're coming up to June. My candle empties for the month of May. These are the candles and wax melts that I have burnt uh, during this month of May, and I can tell you a little bit about their performance. Um, I had, didn't have an exact, I don't even remember what I called it, floor, fresh to fresh by the lagoon or something. Anyway, it's kind of a mix of things. So let's take a look at what I burnt this month. Uh, first off, I did go through, finish up a box of uh, tea lights from Chesapeake Bay Candle and the scent toasted chestnut. These smelled really nice, but... I couldn't smell them when I was burning them, but I just used them for uh, decorative purposes and some of the lamps and uh, for some of my tea light warmers for melts, um, such as this one, uh, Midnight Orchid. And I don't even know who this is made by, or it just it doesn't seem to say on the label anywhere. Distributed by MVP Group of Charleston, South Carolina, and I don't know where I got them. But uh, Midnight Orchid, orchids don't actually smell, they don't really have a scent, but this was nice. Um, I could smell it, definitely, probably like a five. Um, it was, uh, it's just a light floral, floral scent, which does not have a powdery note to it. Um, I seem to smell powdery notes in so many different things, so I'm going to make a note. That it's sort of a light floral that does not smell at all like powder, baby powder. Uh, then I did melt, um, you can't really see this because it was reduced so many times, it was practically free when I got it, but it's a Yankee Candle Tart in Midnight Lilac, which I guess was rather old. Um, honestly, I couldn't smell this at all when I melted it. It has a very light lilac smell, powdery, uh, <laughs> on cold, but I couldn't smell it at all when I melted it. Now, as far as the candles go, um, let's see, we started out the month with uh, a Bath & Body Works Lavender Sea, very pretty container here, and uh, the description reads, soft lavender waves with vanilla sea foam and coconut water. Um, and I would say that's kind of it. I mean, I don't, well, I don't know about sea foam, vanilla sea foam, what is that? But... Um, Vanilla, um, lavender, not a super strong lavender, but definitely vanilla and lavender and, um, yeah, an aquatic note, bit of coconut. It's pleasant, um, was fairly strong, probably like a six, you know, it wasn't super strong. I mean, it's a Bath and Body Works. It was okay. Didn't have any performance issues and uh, it threw pretty well, uh, no matter where I was burning it. I would get it again. Uh, I burnt... Yeah, this was a Bath & Body Works. Also, a Baja Cactus Blossom. I like the label. Description reads, uh, alluring, The alluring beauty of a cactus flower captured in a blend of fresh white flowers, green cactus stems, and sun-kissed coconut. You gotta wonder how coconut works its way in there. I mean, a cactus and coconut don't normally grow together. But this one, yeah, it, it's definitely on the lighter side. I would say this was maybe a four. Um, like I could smell it in the bathroom. Um, you know, if you were kind of around it, you could smell it. Didn't really carry out into the hallway, and if, if I was burning it out here, I couldn't really smell it that very little, very light. But it's kind of a light scent to begin with, and it is just like a white floral with a, a watery, a greenish watery, or like a cactus, you know, that kind of greenish watery note, but very light. Coconut, I don't really know about any coconut. Hmm. But it's a sweet white flower scent, um, just not very strong. I would not get it again, probably. Uh, then I did this one I've been hanging on to for quite a while, Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. Um, 
tropical passion fruit, radiant kiwi, juicy pineapple, fresh coconut <laughs> with essential oils. Well, yeah, I mean, this is this is definitely like your. Uh, this was strong. I'm going to say it's like a seven, eight, a pretty strong candle. No matter where I was burning it, you could smell it. It would travel from room to room, uh, somewhat. Um, there is that definite passion fruit, sort of. I, I want to say generic tropical fruit, kind of, you know, is it papaya? Is it, you know, what is it? Passion fruit, is it mango? It's kind of just a, the, the be-all tropical fruit scent. And the kiwi, I do get like a bit of a greenish scent or a kind of a slightly citrusy, which kiwi is a citrus. You do get a little bit of that. Nice candle, um, pretty sweet smelling and pretty strong. It was nice. I liked it. No performance issues. Um, it, it did soot a little bit. Uh, both. I will say both this one and this one. Unusual for me with Bath and Body Works candles is I did actually have to trim the wicks on both of these because um, they did burn you know, big flames, and when I would blow it out, and if I would go to relight it the next time, like, the, the wicks were really, really long, so I did uh, trim these almost every time that I burnt them. And the reason they still have some wax left, um, usually when my candles, when they get down to where a little bit left, and they start to go out, or they're going to be close to going out, um, I just put them out, and I, I put them on a melter an electric melting warming plate thing and uh, just let them finish up that way. Now the last three, kind of interesting. Um, Yankee Candle Island Getaway. Now no description here on it and I didn't look it up but this one, uh, this was a two wick tumbler and I could smell it actually. <laughs> I could smell this one, I was kind of surprised. It was like a five or six, you know. It was there. It wasn't super strong, but I could smell it in this room. I could smell it more in the restroom if I was burning it in there. Or sometimes I had it in the foyer. Uh, so all areas I burnt this, and you could smell it. I mean, it is just sort of an aquatic, beachy, sandy scent. Definitely the sand element is there. And this was a nice kind of fresh, oceany scent. Now I also burnt, you're going to think I'm kind of weird, but okay, so there are these three candles that I had in my brain, this idea that they would smell really good burning together, and though I know many of you are probably going to watch this and go, uh, no, but anyway, these three candles I thought, I want to burn these all at the same time. We have Yankee Candles Island Getaway. I have this amazingly strong old uh, Slack Cutting Company candle that I got at a thrift store. This is very old and so strong. Oh my god, this thing is like a 9 or a 10. I mean, this is an extremely strong candle and a great performance. And just, it's a strong, whew, I just, even now, this thing is like a lilac forest. I tell you, so strong. Burnt great. Um, Lilac Blossom Lingering Mugwit. I still don't know what that is. Delicate Heliotrope. I love that name. Heliotrope. And Violets. Nah, yeah, whatever, dude. I mean, this is super Lilac Blossom. Okay, amazing candle. And then the third candle that I thought in my mind, and I didn't think of it until I was burning this one. I had this little candle going in a lantern, uh, it is one I got on sale from um, one of this. What are they called? Um, the people that sell the record players and records, Urban Outfitters. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're doing a, a clearance sale, and I got several of these little Christmas tree candles because it's a pine scent, which I love pine, and a very sweet pine, very very sweet. And this little puppy was quite strong, <laughs> burning in the lantern in the foyer. It went to all the rooms in the apartment. I mean, you could smell it. 
And I, while it was burning, I thought, you know, this is kind of sweet. I like it with the ocean thing that I have going, this island getaways. And I know this sounds really weird, but like I want to burn it with lilac blossom too. I have a feeling all three of these going together at the same time are going to be really good. And I know you're thinking, Ugh. It was really good. <laughs> it really was. Like, it's hard to describe, but I mean, try and imagine it without being judgmental. You know, the ocean, the waves, the seashore, the pine trees, right? Because there are places where, not here, but there are places where, you know, there's pine forests, right? By the ocean. And lilacs, like springtime, blooming. I don't know if all three of those are ever all together in the same place. But I'm telling you, it was. It was like being at the ocean near a pine, you know, a pine forest where lilacs are wafting through the air. And it all really went together because these two have a sweet element. It was the sweetness somehow that, that kind of united all of these together. And I know it's weird, but they were really, really good all together. I was really enjoying that. So good. This one still smells a lot. I'm gonna. I have burnt this on the uh, melter, but I'm gonna stick it on the melter again because it's uh, warmer. Because this is still quite strong. Anyway, that is what I burnt this month. So uh, let me know what you burnt during the month of May, or I'll be watching your videos. And if you've had these candles or any experiences with them or thoughts about them, and thank you for watching. And I will see you not by the end of the month, my next empties video, because I'm going away at the end last week in June, so, and I'll be gone for like three weeks. So uh, I'm gonna do my candle empties for June, like around the 22nd or 23rd or something like that. Uh, I'll do an empties for the month of June. So we will see you then, if you don't watch anything else between uh, then and now. Have a good month, and we'll talk to you in the next video.